everybody it's Teresa welcome to my channel I'm going to try to make a necklace today with some of the Jesse James beads that came in the last magical mystery bead box uh, these are all I'm not sure which some of these came from the I think it was called the flower garden strand and some of them came from the I think the best buds mix is what it was called uh, I've got some findings here. I've got a lobster clasp and an extender chain and I've got a little pink rondelle from my stash that I'm going to put on the end of the extender chain. I've got a ball head pin to do that. I've got a bunch of jump rings in here. I'm not going to need all those, but I don't know how many I'm going to need. Uh, I'm not the best at working with these beads. I just have a hard time figuring out what to do with them. So I'm going to do what I always do when I have a hard time figuring out what to do. I'm just going to put them all on wrap loops <laughs> and then try to arrange them and see see how I want to put them together. And I'm going to use these little 4 millimeter jump rings to connect them together because I don't know how I want to lay them out yet. And I have this chain that I bought. It's some chain reaction that I just bought when I did that order from Jesse James. And I'm going to just take it apart and use sections of the chain between the beads that I'm going to put on wire wrapped loops and then probably just piece some of the pieces of chain together to finish off the back of it. Uh, I've got some pieces of my 22 gauge German style wire here. It's gold and uh, this is it. I use the beetle on 22 gauge German style wire. I've got my chain nose pliers and my tweezer pliers. The tweezer pliers are Zeron. I've got both pair of my bent chain nose pliers. Uh, these are I got from BB Crack many years ago and these are glitter line. I've got my round nose pliers. There, I got them from BB Crack many years ago and I've got my cutters. They're Zeron. And I've got my crimping pliers. I'm not going to do any crimping today, but I use these to tuck in my ends when I make my wire wrapped loops. When I cut off the wire, I tuck in the little burr that's left after I cut it off. And I have my little New Orleans shot glass to put my wires that I cut off in. I think that's everything. I'll, I'll put links to everything I can find links for in the description box below. So I'm going to get some of this out of the way and I'll be back. Okay, I've got some of my beads out here and I'm just going to start making some wire wrap loops going to go down about an inch or so, maybe an inch and a half on my wire. These are about three and a half, four inches maybe pieces of wire. I'm going to bend over my pliers at a 90 degree angle. I'm going to take my round nose pliers and put, put my round nose pliers in the crook of the bend there. Round nose pliers facing me. I'm going to bend the wire back until it hits the tool. Rotate the pliers till they're facing the table. Hold really tight and take the short piece of wire and push it up and under there until it hits the bottom of the tool. Cock it back a little until the loop is centered over the wire. Like that. Now I'm going to take my bent chain nose pliers and I'm going to hold on to my loop. I'll hold it really tight so it doesn't get out of shape. Now I'm going to, I usually do this first part with my fingers. I'm just going to wrap around about three times. I'm going to take my cutters, cut off my extra wire. I'm going to put one of my beads on here. This is a big cloisonne bead. I'll probably make this fall at the center of the necklace because I've only got one of these. I'm, there it is. <laughs> Took a minute to find the hole. Okay, now I'm going to go to the very tip of my pliers. And bend the wire over to a 90 degree angle. Take my round nose pliers and put put them in the crook of the bin. Round nose pliers facing me. Hold really tight. 
bend the wire back till it hits the bead. Right to, rotate the pliers till they're facing the table. Hold really tight and take this part and push it back up and under here until it hits the bottom of the tool. Cock it back until the loop is centered over the bead. And that usually almost stands your little piece of wire almost straight up there. I'm going to take my bent chain those pliers and hold my loop. Take my other pair of bent chain those pliers and start my wraps. I want to get that first wrap good and tight. And then I'm just going to wrap until there's no more room to wrap. off my extra wire. I'm going to take my crimping pliers and go into the thing on the part on the end there that just has a little circular part on each side. I'm going to tuck in my little burrs of wire that are burrs that are left where I cut off my wire. Now I'm going to take another piece of my wire, go down about an inch or an inch, inch and a half or so, bend it over the pliers at a 90 degree angle, take my round nose pliers, put the round nose pliers in the crook of the bin, round nose pliers facing me, bend the wire back until it hits the tool, rotate the pliers till they're facing the table, Hold on tight and take the shorter piece up and under here until it hits the bottom of the tool. Cock it back some until the loop is centered over the wire. Like that. Take my bent chain those pliers and hold on to my loop and hold really tight. Wrap around about three times. I'm going to cut off my extra wire. I'm going to take another bead, take one of these flower beads, uh, coin shaped beads here. Put it on my wire. Take my pliers. Go to the very Tip of the pliers. Bend at a 90 degree angle. Put my round nose pliers in the crook of the bin, round nose pliers facing me. Hold really tight. Bend the wire back till it hits the bead. Rotate the pliers till they're facing the table. Hold really tight and take this part and Push it up and under here until it hits the bottom of the tool. Cock it back some until the loop is centered over the bead. Take my bent chain nose pliers. Hold my loop. Hold it really tight. My other, bent, other pair of bent chain nose pliers. Start my wrapping. Get the first wrap good and tight. Just wrap till there's no more room to wrap. Now I'm going to cut off the extra wire. Take my crimping pliers and tuck in my little ends. I'm going to do that with all these beads and then when I come back off uh, and I'll take them I'm going to take my chain apart and when I come back I'll figure out how I want to put it all together so I'll be back okay I've got my links made here and I've got my chain taken apart except for this one I was going to show you I wanted to use these bead caps that came in the box around this big rondelle bead but uh, the hole 
in the B cap is big and it's going to swallow up my loops. So I'm going to put a, if I can get it back off of there, <laughs> I'm going to put a, a little 11 0 seed bead on it first. And then put my B cap on and it won't swallow up my loops. Or my wraps, I mean. And I'm going to just do that on both sides. And then I'm going to just finish this one. I'm going to go to the end of my pliers. Make a 90 degree turn. Around those pliers in the crook of the bin. Around those pliers facing me. Bend my wire back till it hits the bead. Rotate the pliers till they're facing the table. Hold on tight and take this part and pull it back up and under here till it hits the bottom of the tool. Rotate, or I mean, cock the, cock it back until the loop is centered over the bead. Take my bent chain nose pliers. And my other pair of bent chain nose pliers. Start my wraps. Hold on tight or it'll get out of shape. Just wrap till there's no more room to wrap. my extra wire and I'm going to take my crimping pliers and tuck my ends in and when you do this and when you have a little seed bead at the end there like that you have to be really really careful because it's very easy to crack your seed bead you just have to really gently tuck in your little wires there Now I'm going to try to put this together, get some of my jump rings out here. So I know I want that one to be in the center because I only have one of them. So I'm going to take a piece of chain and put one on each side. my little four millimeter jump ring here and hope it doesn't jump out of my hand like it does sometimes. Trying to get it closed up really well. Another one, put some chain on this side. Oop. <laughs> that wasn't the jump ring's fault, that was my fault. I just dropped it. I know this will go on here. It went on the other side. There we go. Okay, now. Yeah, I think I'll do this green one here.
do one of them on each side. Then I think I'll do my big flower coin bead. Well, I gotta put chain first. Then I'm going to put my flower coin bead. Do that on both sides. Okay, got, got that so far. Now I'm going to put another piece of chain and my pink bead. I'm going to do that on this side. Well, this one doesn't want to go on there. There it goes. Okay. 
Okay. So that's what I've got. Now I'll measure it and figure out how much chain I need to piece together to go on the back. I'll be back. Okay, I've already got 20 inches here. And I happened to end up, after I cut up all my chain, I ended up with a couple of little links here that's just half as long as the links I have between each bead. So I'm just going to put them at the top here on each side. And then that'll be plenty long enough. And then I'll, of course, I'm going to have a little extender chain on it too. So I'm just going to put these two little pieces on each end. Now I'm going to take a six millimeter jump ring. I don't know why I could use a four, but I'm just going to use a six. <laughs> I'm going to put my lobster clasp on with it. Now I'm going to take an 8mm jump ring. I hope this is not too thick to go on here. Oh, it went in my extender chain. Well, that's what I've got now. So now I'm going to make a little dangle to go on my extender chain here. Take my ball head pin and my little rondelle that I got from my stash. And take my pliers and go to the very tip of the pliers. Make a 90 degree bend around those pliers and put them in the crook of the bend around those pliers facing me bend the wire back until it hits the bead rotate the pliers till they're facing the table hold tight take this part push it up and under here until it hits the bottom of the tool rotate it back or cock it back until the loop is centered over the bead I bent chain those pliers hold really tight my other pair of bent chain those pliers. Start my wraps and make sure to hold on. It's going to get away from me there. And just start wrapping. Get the first wrap good and tight. And I forgot to wrap it directly to the chain, so <laughs> that's all right. I've still got plenty of four millimeter jump, jump rings laying out here. I'll just connect it with one of them. crimping pliers and tuck in my little burr and take a four millimeter jump ring put 
open it up, thread on the end of my extender chain, and thread on my little dangle. Okay, there. Now, I'll get some of this stuff out of the way and I'll be back. Okay, there it all is. Like I said, I have a little bit of a hard time figuring out what to do with these beads, but I guess it turned out okay. As always, thank you all so much for joining me today. I really appreciate those of you who have subscribed to my channel and watched my videos and liked and commented on my videos. I have a website where I sell my jewelry. It's Teresa's Handmade Jewelry, and I'll put a link to it in the description box below in case you're interested, along with a link to my Facebook and Instagram and my email. If you haven't, I'd really love it if you'd subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload a new video. So until next time, I hope you all have a great day. Take care.